Hey guys, this is a Jaeger task guide for the Survivalist Path Zivchik. For this task, you have to survive for five minutes while suffering from complete dehydration on any map excluding factory. So for this task, you do need to survive for five minutes while being completely dehydrated, and you can actually make yourself dehydrated in a couple of different ways, which means that you can adjust your method of choice depending on whether you would rather attempt this task at the beginning or the end of a raid. If you do plan to dehydrate at the beginning of a raid and you are going in with full hydration, then your best option would be to use a jar of mayo, which you can find in raid, or if you are level 15, then you can buy from the flea market. If you don't have or don't want to buy a jar of mayo, then you can also use a combination of two condensed milks or a condensed milk stacked with some pain pills. And then the condensed milk is very common to find in raid, or again, you can buy it from the flea market, or you can even craft it at the level two nutrition station. Since the devil dog mayo does have a negative 99 to hydration, it will work at any time of the raid. And that is why if you are planning to do it at the beginning of your raid, I do recommend using this, but the condensed milk only has a negative 65. So that is why you would have to stack it with either another condensed milk or with the pain pills. And just that you guys know the regular pain pills do take your hydration down approximately 19 per pill so with all four uses then you can have a total of negative 76 hydration your other viable options to lower your hydration are to use sugar or you can eat other specific food during your raid in order to lower it such as oat flakes or tashanka or it will also decrease with repeated painkiller usage like i mentioned with the regular pain pills and just that you guys know once your hydration does hit zero it does take approximately 10 seconds for the dehydration symbol and effects to kick in and then the timer will begin at that time and then the hard part will start which is to survive for what seems like a very long five minutes now you could technically run around while dehydrated if you wanted to but i do find that very risky due to your PMC then being basically permanently out of stamina, which means that you will have limited or no sprinting or jumping available to you. You will also have increased weapon sway as well as pain, tremor, and loss of health, which can potentially lead to death if you don't heal it, and will also make any PMC encounters much more difficult. Now, how I typically do this task is that I will go to either woods or shoreline, since usually at this point in the wipe, I do have tasks that I can work away at on either of those maps, or you can pick whatever map that you are comfortable on besides factory, because as stated in the task objectives, you are not allowed to do this task on that map. So then I bring my condensed milk into my secure container and then load into whatever map that I did select and then go about working away at any of the tasks that I do have active on that map during that time. And while maneuvering around that map, I do make sure not to drink anything for the entirety of the raid so that I do dwindle my hydration down to anywhere, hopefully less than 65. Now, while you are in the raid, if your energy is low, you can eat because majority of the energy items will also decrease your hydration while raising the energy. So that will also help a little bit for this task. And then when we're close to the end of the raid and approaching our extraction, then I do try to find somewhere in close proximity to the extract that's relatively safe and hidden. And then I will drink the condensed milk in order to dehydrate myself fully. Then I will usually set a timer on my phone for five minutes. And then after two minutes is up of that timer, then I will pop a propital, which serves two purposes. The first one is to heal the tick damage that you will be getting from being totally dehydrated hydrated and then the second is that it will give you pain and tremor relief so that your character doesn't get the blurry vision and it will also stop your pmc from grunting and groaning and making a bunch of noise to let people know where you are hiding for the entire five minutes you don't actually have to set a phone timer you will get a notification of a subtask complete i just like to know roughly where i am at in the time frame so that's why i do that now, regardless of if you guys emulate how I do it at the end of the raid, or if you do choose to do it at the beginning, definitely remember to bring water and then potentially food to replenish yourself after the subtask completes if you're any distance from the extract. And also a very important tip to remember is to do this task before you reach the max level of metabolism, because I have read some posts on Reddit that people were unable to complete this task after having unlocked the max level due to the elite effects negating the point of the task. Unless they have recently patched that, I'm not really sure, but I figured I would mention it just in case it is still a thing, but it's probably a good idea to get this task done as fast as possible and definitely before you reach this max level of metabolism. You also used to be able to lower your hydration by using a pain pill glitch, but that has since been patched so you can no longer fake taking the pain pill and then cancel the animation and then still lower yourself down. The hydration will lower, but then after you cancel it, then the hydration will regain again. And I just figured I would throw that in there as well. Also, if you do get a run through or die in between completing being dehydrated and then extracting, then you will have to come back and then just survive and extract from a raid on any location besides factory in order to complete the task. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully it did give you some information that will help you to complete this task. If you're still here at the end of it, I definitely appreciate you and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could 
help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.